Light. No light. Light. No light. Light. No light. Light. No light. This contraption is my camera gantry. And if you want more details on this, there's a link in the description to an article I wrote covering the build in detail. But what I want to show today is the new addition that I made to it. It's this light panel that I made from LEDs. And I'll quickly go over how I made it. First thing that I did was to find and buy what I hoped would be the right color LEDs. That's important if you want consistent white balance in your shots. And I wanted it to match the lighting that I already had in the shop. The one I bought was five meters long and it had 60 50-50 LEDs per meter. And I need to cut that into short pieces, but when I looked at it, I could see that it's actually put together in strips. So I just melted the solder to break them apart, and that left me with 10 strips that have 30 LEDs each on them. The package came with extra tape, so I thought I would use that, and maybe it would actually keep the strips attached. The backer I'm using is quarter-inch plywood, and I painted that white to make it reflective. I also gave it a coat of clear polyurethane after the paint dried, I figured the tape would stick better if the surface of the backer was as smooth as I could make it. After I got them lined up, I really pressed the tape down hard. I was pressing so hard, in fact, that I thought I was going to break the LEDs. To connect the strips together, I cut short pieces of stranded wire, and then I stripped off the insulation and tinned the ends. Here I'm using a flux pen to make the solder flow better while I'm attaching the leads. I've done a lot of soldering and find this to be the easiest way to work. I have the iron in one hand with some solder on the tip and the wire that I want to attach in the other. It didn't take that long to hook it all up and then I could plug it in and see if it works. Holding my hand in front of it shows the color temperature and it looks pretty good and wow, it's certainly bright enough. The idea is to run this light from a battery and then recharge the battery each night after I use it. The light from the LED shoots straight out, so it needs to be softened and diffused. Otherwise, it's going to cast hard shadows. So I went to the home center and I bought a regular fluorescent light fixture lens and then cut that down to the same size as the backer panel on the table saw. In the meantime, I noticed that the strips had started to come loose from the backer panel. I don't think any of this tape actually works. So from now on, I'm not gonna use it at all. I use construction adhesive to reattach the strips and then clamp them down until it dried. I want this panel to be as lightweight as possible. So I made the frame from thin stock that I cut from one of my vintage two by fours. I carefully measured and mitered the corners and that gave me a chance to try out my new zero clearance insert for the miter saw. To assemble it, the backer panel fits into a dado that I cut into the frame parts. And then the corners are just fastened together from both directions with pin nails. I also cut a slot for the plastic lens to fit into. And I want to get that in before I put the rest of the frame together. Here's another test with it fully assembled. Quite a difference with the lens in, it really makes the light look a lot softer and more even. Here it is side by side with my light stand, and that has a 42 watt CFL bulb in it, and I think that's equal to about 150 watts. The new panel actually looks brighter than that, and the color looks great too. I'm not using anything fancy to connect it to the battery. I just cut the cord off an old power adapter with the right size connector on the end, and that will plug straight into the connector that's on the back of the panel. I'm using spade connectors that I'm just crimping onto the end of the wire, and these are the right size to fit the leads on the battery. I made a plywood box to hold the battery and then mounted it at the back of the camera gantry, and that will help to counterbalance the extra weight from the light panel. To mount it onto the camera gantry, I just glued a block onto the back of the backer panel, and then I just screwed a piece of two by two on, and that has parts that stick out on the end so that I can use a wing nut to adjust the angle. 
And here's a better look at the battery. I don't need to take it out of here. All I need to do is plug the cord right into the charger and then it's ready to go the next day.